I'm Marissa Johnson. I'm a real estate agent in Middle Tennessee, and I'm back with more mistakes that I made during my first year in real estate. But this time, I'm talking about mistakes I made during the interview process. If you are planning to join a team, you will go through an interview process. Joining as a solo agent is a little different because they kind of just take anyone, um, in my opinion. I did still have an interview when I joined as a solo agent, um, but it was much more of a, hey, this is what we offer. Um, are you interested in this? How do you want to do real estate? Because they don't care if you're part-time or full-time, they'll take you on. But when I interviewed for a team, there was definitely more of like you're interviewing for a job, especially depending on the size of the team. Um, you know, a team that has a lot of people, does high volume, um, they're going to probably be pickier than a smaller team that just is getting started or, um, I don't know. So the first team that I interviewed for is a pretty big team here in Nashville. Um, they did not take me and I made some mistakes during my interview. I will say that I am glad it didn't work out because I don't think it would have been the right fit for me. However, at the time when I got uh, ghosted, they didn't even have the decency to actually reject me. They just ghosted me. Um, I was pretty annoyed. I was very upset and I was very angry. Um, but anyways, I think the biggest mistake that I made in that was I was very honest with the interviewer and when she asked me, um, why do you want to get into real estate? I said that I was just kind of looking for something to do on the side because my kids are in school and I just want something to do to make like a little extra money. And the answer she was looking for was, I want to make a ton of money and I want to work all the time. So, you know, when you work in like a regular job, um, most people don't want you to come in and say, I want to make a ton of money, but you know, I, I was a teacher. Obviously I don't, I didn't make a ton of money. And if I had gone into an interview and been like, what is the salary here? I just want to make a ton of money. They would have been like, well, you're not a good fit for us. Um, and so I felt uncomfortable going in and saying like, I'm just here to make money, but that's what real estate's all about. Okay. They're just, they're just there to make money. So if you go into an interview for a team, don't be afraid to say, I want to make money. I want to make this amount of money <laughs> every year. And I want to have this many closings every month. Okay. <laughs> um, then, so that was that team that didn't work out. Like I said, they ghosted me until I like called and harassed them because I was going to make them reject me. <laughs> Then I interviewed with another team and this was pretty early on. I was already signed on as a solo agent um, and at Keller Williams and Keller Williams has you go through all these classes. They have you do a bunch of courses. And so the teams that are there, they want you, at least in my office, they wanted you to finish all the courses before you could actually sign on with them because they they didn't want to do the education part of it because Keller Williams is obviously already set up to do all of that. So I interviewed with the team while I was in the middle of doing all the education um, and it was a really great team. I did want to be with them and this is totally 100% my fault that I did not become part of that team. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm still like kind of a little bummed about it, but I'm on a really good team now, so I'm not super bummed. Uh, at the end of the interview, and I did a good job on this one. I told them I wanted to make money. I told them I wanted X amount of closings per month. Um, and so they were totally on board. However, at the end, the interviewer said, we want to be a resource for you. We want you to feel like you can contact us and ask for help about things. And I said, okay, that's great. I would love to do that. And then I didn't contact them for like two months. Um, yeah, I did not use them as a resource and they literally told me exactly what to do. And instead of doing that, I just, you know, did my classes and was like, well, I'll just reach out to them when I'm done and it will be fine. Yeah, no, it was not fine. No, um, 
I reached out to them when I was done and uh, they had moved on. They no longer needed any team members. Uh, yeah, so that was that. So then after that, I was, you know, a solo agent for a little bit and I interviewed with probably two or three more teams, um, one of them being the team that I'm on now. I interviewed with one team that I got very far in the process. Um, some teams will make you take these tests. Um, I think it's called disc tests. So I had to do that. And then I had to do another test. I don't even remember the name of It's some kind of personality test and it is like spot on. It had me down to a T and um, it was terrifying that it was so accurate because it was just a test like in this situation, what would you do, A, B, or C? And yet it still knew who I was as a person. Um, but I got really far in that interview and they liked that I was honest. They liked that I could explain my answers to this really intense personality quiz. Um, but in the end, they, they ended up taking like an intern and putting it into the position that I was hiring for. So I did not get that position. And then they called me like the day after I had signed on with my new team and said, hey, we have a new position opening up for a listing agent like trainee. Um, are you interested? And of course I was interested, but I had just signed on with another team and paid all of my new dues and everything. So I was not going to leave and do that. So yes, um, be honest. Talk about the amount of money you wanna make. Talk about the amount of closings you wanna do or talk about how little you wanna work and you know, find the right team. If you don't wanna work full time, don't tell them that you do wanna work full time because when you go in there and you're not wanting to work full time, they'll be like, you're not the right fit, please leave. So find the team that's gonna prioritize family and time off because they are out there. Like the team I'm on now, they, he would love for me to work 22 hours a day but he also is like if this is the amount of money you want to make that's the amount of money you want to make and I'm fine with that like this is I just want you to be able to pay your bills and that's fantastic so those are the mistakes I made when applying for teams um, I hope that you learn from me and my mistakes and if you ever go to um, try to join a real estate team or even just any real estate agency, tell them you want to make a ton of money and they'll be like, you're on our team. Thanks guys.